get at it. The treasure was buried in a shaft called the Money Pit, though no one knows where it is today. The story goes that in 1795, two teenagers from Nova Scotia stumbled across a hollow in the ground with a tackle block hanging in a tree above it. Thinking they'd found the legendary Money Pit, they dug down as far as 30 feet below ground. Not finding anything, they gave up. Was the Oak Island producers employed real archaeologists. Fortunes. Laird Niven is way too handy with a digger. Speaking of real archaeologists, some viewers have been quick to question Laird Niven's credentials. When it comes to conducting an excavation, Niven's approach is pretty unconventional. Niven has no qualms about digging great big holes with a mechanical digger instead of the thorough and careful removal of soil, artifacts, and fossils archaeologists are known for. Though, to his credit, the top layers of soil are so dug over by treasure hunters, there's not much of value left. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you give it a like, and be sure to subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. And stick around for a lot more about the curse of Oak Island. Speaking of digs, Laird Niven never gets permission. The preservation of local heritage is essential to the Nova Scotia government. Anyone wanting to conduct an archaeological excavation of any kind needs to apply for a heritage research permit, especially if the diggers might find artifacts from First Nations peoples. Rick and Marty Lagina were smart. They secured both the rights to film on Oak Island and treasure hunting permits for the entire land plot. This way, Laird Niven or any other archaeologist working on the site doesn't need extra permissions to dig. Rick and Marty Lagina cough up the dough for the show. Digging up an island looking for buried treasure doesn't come cheap. And we're pretty sure the History Channel doesn't foot the bill for all these digs, so who does? The Lagina brothers are famously tight-lipped when it comes to where the money is from. Still, online sources suggest the excavations are privately funded by Rick and Marty and a handful of private investors and business associates, including a certain Craig Tester. And when you read that Marty's net worth is anywhere between 40 to 100 million dollars, it's clear they aren't struggling with finances. People will pay any price to dig on Oak Island. Fans afflicted with gold fever are willing to spend anything to get to the island and start digging. Even when no logical clues point to the existence of treasure and no one has found anything of value on the island for centuries, the Oak Island obsession has left some treasure hunters destitute, with many risking their entire life savings in their quest to uncover something rare or valuable. Rick and Marty spend a lot of time on Oak Island. Rick and Marty don't just head to Oak Island to film their TV show. Island life is very much a lifestyle for the brothers and their families. Rick is retired, so he has a lot of time on his hands, which he spends foraging for treasure. Marty brings his family, who often jump in and help out on excavations. A lot of people own Oak Island. Wondering why the brothers walk around like they own the entire island? They pretty much do. While they have a decent share in Oak Island, and they're digging on a whim wherever, whenever, makes it seem like they're the sole owners, they don't own the whole island. Their friend and business associate Craig Tester holds a portion, as does Alan K. Kostrewa, who is the owner of Oak Island Tours. The late Dan Blankenship, a friend of the Laginas, and an Oak Island history expert, also had ownership. What actually happened to the late Matt Chisholm? One of the reasons people believe Oak Island is cursed is because of its killer reputation. At least six confirmed deaths have happened on the island. One more and the legend says the treasure will reveal itself. With a possible seventh death, maybe some lucky treasure hunter is set to make their fortune soon. In 2014, former Curse of Oak Island show producer Matt Chisholm was thought to be the seventh Oak Island victim. While the details surrounding his death are unclear, and in fact not even confirmed, sources say that at the time of his death, he was found on his knees with his hands in the prayer position. But oddly, Matt wasn't a religious man. Matt Chisholm might have been a whistleblower. In keeping with the tradition of Oak Island as a mysterious place, some people say Matt's death wasn't an accident. At the time of his death, Matt was party to some top-secret information about the treasure buried on Oak Island. According to reports floating around fan sites, Matt had a tip-off about an ancient Masonic map of Oak Island, which revealed information about the buried treasure. 
and this was right before, you guessed it, he disappeared. Suspiciously, Matt's death was never officially reported. An old Reader's Digest story inspired the Oak Island TV series. Believe it or not, the Laginas learned about Oak Island from an article in a 1965 edition of Reader's Digest. The story talked about treasure hunters heading to the island to excavate the infamous money pit. Wondering what that title was caught Rick's eye. It was Oak Island's mystery money pit. For the young Rick, who was a big fan of adventure novels like the Hardy Boys, this article set the tone for his future career. In fact, the idea to produce a television show about digging around in the dirt for buried treasure came directly from this experience. The Lagina family won't give up, even after 15 years. It's common knowledge Oak Island is haunted by bad luck. And this misfortune has a way of rubbing off on anyone who visits. Back in 1795, the first people to find the money pit took a break after digging out the hole. They came back to see the pit flooded with water and the treasure unreachable. The curse of Oak Island doesn't deter the Lagina family, though. They've been chasing treasure-filled dreams for almost two decades. Skeptical TV watchers are left doubting whether there's any treasure to be found, though. Dedicated fans still hang with bated breath, waiting for the day Rick and Marty finally bag their bounty. What do you think? Is the Oak Island curse real, or do you think it's all made up by the Lagina brothers to keep people watching? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.